Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. This video is a follow-up video to the preparation of a 4.3 liter V6 uh, marine engine prior to reassembly. Um, when you have a, a block, an engine block, take it to a machine shop and they uh, clean it, they hot tank it, uh, the good cleaners will take all the plugs out, like the oil galley, plug, oil galley plugs here, here. They'll take the cam bearings out. Um, they'll take the freeze plugs out. They'll clean all the, they, uh, knock out all the plugs in the block so that the cleaning solution to get, can get into every, ca uh, every cavity. So when you put it back together, um, if they don't do it, you can do it. You can, I, put in, uh, I put in my own, uh, these are called core plugs. Some people call them freeze plugs, but I've since found out they're actually called core plugs. So these are brass core plugs. I've got them on both sides. Um, I've got plugs uh, in the front. These are your oil galleries, uh, oil galleries for uh, the oil passages run through the block. You've got plugs in front and back. So anyway, um, one of the things I overlooked was um, there was actually another plug that the engine builder knocked out and went in this hole right here. If you look down through there, I don't know if you see, I don't know if you can see the, there you go. If you look down, you can see the hole, just like the moon in the distance. That's the ground you can see through here. So there's a complete passage from this hole all the way through the other side of this block. But they're not supposed to be. So, or they're supposed to be, but there's supposed to be a plug in there. So what you have to do, there's this little plug. It's kind of like a core plug. But this little plug goes down in that hole. <coughs> and its purpose is to, to direct oil into the oil filter. So this hole is, your oil pump sits on, this is your rear main bearing saddle. And you have a rear main bearing cap and the oil pump bolts to that. So when the oil, oil pump is pumping oil, it pumps it from the oil pan and it pumps it into this hole right here. The oil goes in that hole and when it hits this plug down in the hole it makes a 90 degree turn, hard turn, and goes over here. And it goes in this cavity, goes through the filter, and then goes back out the filter and goes out through that hole right there. This hole right where my fingers point. Goes down comes back in another drill hole, comes back in this very same hole, and that's the hole that leads to the, the oiling system for the rest of the block. So if you don't put this plug in there, and the plug goes part way down through there, it goes after the hole that goes over here, but before the hole that comes back. What it does is directs the oil over here and back. So that's, that plug is basically to re, re, divert the flow of the oil into your oil filter. So without that plug, You'll have plenty of oil pressure in your engine, but you won't have filtered oil. It basically makes the oil filter useless. So you must put this plug back in to, as a diverter to make the oil come over here to your oil filter. Also, there's a little check valve. This check valve here, the part number is GM12684294. And it, this is a check valve. And the purpose of that is if your oil filter gets clogged up, it allows oil that comes in here to go out through this check valve and go in your engine. So if your oil filter clogs up for whatever reason, it allows unfiltered oil to go into the engine to save the engine. Um, ideally, you don't want that to happen, but that's the purpose of this check valve is to let oil go past, past your oil filter and get into your engine uh, to keep your engine from, from getting destroyed. Um, so you better change your oil filter because you won't know it. You'll be maybe getting unfiltered oil going to your engine. But anyway, that check valve goes in that hole right there. Uh, let me see if I can get a better picture of it there, in the hole there. So that's where the check valve goes. So I'll put that in later. I'll put that in a minute. But the bottom line is I just wanted to show you that you need this plug in here. And I'm about to install this plug. I'm going to push it in and drive You just drive it in with a hammer. It's a press fit plug. You drive it in until it's uh, down in the hole it's supposed to be in. And then you make sure that it's not driven too far. So that's where it, if you drive it in too far, you'll block all the oil flow. Oil flow and you, won't, you won't have any oil pressure at all. So you just have to push it in there as long as you, if you look down here with a light, you can see the first hole that runs this way. You make sure your plug is just past that hole. So I'm about to do that. I'm about to put this plug in the hole, and then I'll show you the final result when it's in. And also I'm going to put the check valve in the hole there. So um, that's thanks for watching, and I'll show you the end result when I'm done putting this plug in there. I'm not going to show you how I tap it in because it's just a simple matter of dropping it in there using the right size uh, rod or punch and pushing it and tapping it in the hole with a hammer not that big a deal but you got to have it in there otherwise you won't get filtered oil all right the uh oil plug old i'm gonna call it oil diverter plug is now installed let me turn some lights so you can see it done in there you can see if you look very clear for there you go so you can see the plug done in there it's driven in if you look over here there's the hole that runs out to the side that goes out to your oil filter the plug is past that which is what you want 
and then the hole coming back from your oil filter cavity will be on the other side of that plug. So that, that plug is what diverts oil, in, uh, diverts oil into your oil filter. Um, you don't have it, I mean I drove it in, it wasn't a lot of force, it was some force, but it didn't take a lot. Um, the, old, the pressure difference across that plug is going to be the difference between your filter. Uh, it, it's not going to have a lot, in other words, it's not holding a lot of pressure back. It's going to have the same, just about the same amount of oil pressure on this side of the plug, this side of the plug as you do on the other side. So there's, there's not going to be a lot of force trying to push that plug one way or another. It's got equal pressures on both sides. So um, the plug's going to hold pretty fine. So again, it's in there. It's going to divert oil over to oil filter. I also drove in the, uh, this is your uh, oil filter, filter bypass valve. It's a check valve. It lets oil flow out of the filter, but not coming, it won't let it uh, come back. So what it does, it just allows the uh, oil to bypass the filter as the filter gets clogged up. Um, so that was a, I, I basically knocked that in with that socket extension right there. I had, it's just a short socket extension. Use that as a tool. Use that as a tool to drive that in. So that's installed. I've already checked it. If you, if you push down on that, the spring load, you push down on it, you feel it go in against the spring so you know it's working. So this, the plug's in, your bypass valve is in, all good to go. This engine's now ready to assemble. Next, uh, next stop is to uh, uh, wipe it down a little bit and then put the uh, main bearings in and the crankshaft. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching.